Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, so this is where we are right now. This is where the next memory is. And boom. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> yeah, and then the last one's pretty easy to find. Um, because it's like a sword. And it's on a little um, stretch of land that's just like that. A little peninsula. Yeah. wonder what this one's going to be. Yeah. Can't remember. But yeah, we're going to wrap this up today. And then continue the main story in the next one. Mm -hmm. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You've got all of us. <laughs> you have the Gerudo, Goron, Zora, and Rito leaders, as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. I wonder if he can make his ears stand up Something like Minoru. Like mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because, like, for whatever reason, I, like, just now realized that her ears are standing up and his are, like, laid out. Yeah, she got the Doberman design. Yeah, her ears are cropped. Mm-hmm. So These are my secret stones. stones. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell Ganon. Stand with me. I need all your aid. Accessories. <laughs> yeah. Now put your fists together. <laughs> Gather here. Swear on our lives. Where are they gonna do it? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, I don't remember if they put their fists together. They might. <laughs> They're like, we are a team. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, though. Having, like, the avatars with you and having them help you in the dungeons and stuff, it really does make it feel more like a team. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, the powers are cool and stuff in Breath of the Wild, but I like how they're implemented in this game better, I think, just mm -hmm. with the story. And then this is where the last one was. See, it's like, it's a sword slash dagger or a scimitar or whatever shaped just like <laughs> this, so you can't miss it. Yeah, and I think the tear is going to be on the hilt of it. Mm -hmm. Is there like a little village down there? Yeah, I think that's where uh, Lorellan village is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that the one with <clears throat> the uh, like the wave of enemies or whatever they want you to get rid of? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we did it before, there was like one Bokoblin who was like in hiding. Yeah, he was down in the well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was lucky enough that we had a picture of him so I could seek him out with the Sheikah sensor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right over there. Yeah, and we're not sure, but this one looks like it might be the biggest one. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try and go over here and see if the thing can launch me a bit just so I have more stamina. Mm-hmm. 
Shrine of Light nearby. <laughs> it's probably gonna be one of those beam ones. It probably is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, well, I could just spring. Yeah. I didn't see that there. <laughs> now! <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Right over here. Yeah, I see the shrine on the left there. Here, I'm gonna put a little pin. <coughs> Boop. And then we can just get that on our own. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a freaking Rauru's blessing. Yeah, anytime it's one of those green beams of light that you gotta go find. Mm -hmm. You said you think it's on the hilt, right? Yeah, it should be on the left side of the I hilt. I think I see it. Yeah, yeah that right one there. right there. Cool. Yeah, I remember when we went and found this one in our file, we were, like, running around in circles for a while trying to find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went, like, the full length of the land strip <laughs> a few times, and we yeah. were like, where the hell is it? Yeah, I can't remember which one this is either. Yeah, me neither. And then I think there's, like, one more that's going to happen after this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is where the uh, one shrine was in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. I think you had to like carry a glowing orb all the way to the end or something. Is it that, or was that the one that was like a swirly that was up near a uh, hot? Yeah, that was definitely an orb. Yeah. I can't remember if there was an orb for this one or not. Yeah. Final glyph tier. <laughs> What's it gonna be? I can't remember for sure, but this one might have some plot relevance to the next thing we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Zelda, we are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> oh my, I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hyrule equivalent of a three-way phone call with one person listening in. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I forgot about this. Mm -hmm. I forgot that that happened to this memory. <laughs> R.I.P. That terrible smile. I remember that. I, I think I, that's why I forgot that Sonya passed away here. Also, I don't know if we had seen the memory where Rauru was visiting her grave. Mm -hmm. So I maybe I thought like, oh, she'll be fine. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. That <laughs> grin was something else. Yeah. That's like the thing that I see in my nightmares. Yeah. Cool. Oh, something's happening. <gasps> the light dragon. <laughs> it's crying. Uh. 
Oh, yeah, that was the orb yeah. one from before. <clears throat> cool. Thank you for showing me exactly where to go. <laughs> the wrist peninsula. Which memory was that? No, not that. I want to I want to see the memories. I want to see the order. Which one was that? Uh Sonya's caught by treachery. Okay. Yeah. So Oh, we're still missing a few scenes. Mm -hmm. What are these scenes from? Yeah, I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Was yeah. it missing like that in our file? I, I don't know. Remember. We could we'll double check um like you know between this and our next session, and then we'll see if we're missing anything and mm -hmm. see what those are. Um, because I don't want to miss any. I want to get them all. Yeah. It might just have to do with like plot progression. Like once we go and you know talk to Purr or something, mm -hmm. you know, then maybe we'll see. I've seen a few people say it um, in like their reviews, uh, and I kind of agree. I wish that the Dragon Tears uh, played out in sequential order, regardless of when you found them. Mm -hmm. Just because like, I do like the story in this game, but I think that it would play a little bit better if it played out you know, in a linear fashion, yeah. so that you knew what was going on with Zelda, and like you didn't accidentally spoil anything for yourself. Because, mm -hmm. like, you know, in this playthrough, we kind of did. Like, you saw Sonya's grave before you saw the scene where she died. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, well, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the light dragon again. <laughs> I think it's funny how it has Zelda's hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just looks so weird. The eyes are what freak me out. Yeah. And the hair doesn't even look like hair. It looks like a bunch of giant bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's oh. Uh, Den Rall, too, coming out of that hole in the ground. That's Here, pretty freaky let looking. Me, let me see if I can get one of his scales. We haven't even gotten any of their scales or anything in, um, in our personal file. So, yeah. Will that hit him? Ah, shit. Come on! Tulin, I need you! <laughs> okay, sweet. Too much heat damage? What? <laughs> uh, maybe he's got a bunch of hot air around him or something. That's dumb! <laughs> <clears throat> Did it fall? Um, I think it did, but I don't know if it showed where it fell. What the frick? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Is that it down there? The glowing thingy right there? Ooh, maybe. Oh, shoot. I did not realize I was running out of stamina. <laughs> yes. Sweet. Cool. Oh, but now I'm down here. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's fine. We got time. Yeah, and you can just swim across. Yeah. And then we'll do that shrine in between episodes. I don't remember if it's a blessing or not. Yeah. It'd be sweet as hell if you could use side on power and then, like, skip across the water. Right. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to swim that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'll just run. Guys, hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just like standing over there. They keep approaching and they're like, well, he's running. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, he went back, okay. Yeah. Here, let me... Do that. Oops. <laughs> I pressed L again to freaking get this dude. Korok? Yay! Nice. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, Tulin got him. Sweet. And then after we see this memory, we'll see the truth behind everything. <laughs> everything. Mm -hmm. I just 
just love water effects in video games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've gotten like so good over the years, it's crazy. I feel like GameCube was one of the first ones to really nail it. Mm -hmm. Like, Super Mario Sunshine's water effects look great. Yeah. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Oh my god! <laughs> I love the Zonai constructs. Yeah. They're very quirky <laughs> and I like their design. Yeah, they're super helpful early in the game too. Mm. I will restore the master sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. With Zelda's lullaby. <laughs> oh, and then it changes. Thomas and I knew this, obviously, like, you know, because we played off screen, but, like, we were theorizing earlier on because we didn't know. And, like, you know, the game starts hinting at it more and more with the memories and the tears and stuff, and it's, ah, it's so fucking cool! Mm -hmm. And so she's just been floating around since the beginning of Hyrule now. Yeah. As a dragon. that to restore power to the Master Sword so that it could kill Ganon mm -hmm. in our time. Yep, and then she flies all the way up into the sky. Yeah, like way, way up there. Yeah, I'm glad we like looked it up and did it on our own though, because I feel like we might not have known how to get the Master Sword if we were still playing blind. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure like you know after hundreds of hours or dozens of hours or whatever, we would have eventually you know found it. Mm -hmm. But um, you know the whole thing about the Light Dragon coming down after doing the Master or after doing the um the Phantom Ganon thing and the Deku Tree. What you hear? Zelda! <laughs> 
sweet. Yeah, so now we are done the dragon's tears. Oh yeah, I forgot there's like a crap ton of silent princesses all over the place right yeah, here. Yeah, they just like <laughs> sprouted out of nowhere. Yeah. Because she is the silent <laughs> princess. Yeah. She's been silenced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up here. We'll continue on with the main story in the next one. We'll probably do this shrine in between. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and we hope you'll join us next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one.